This is a proof of concept application called Coffee VNX. It demonstrates the usability of the main chip technology for vending machines. The following demonstrate how this application works, including how to associate a main chip to the machine in order for it to accept payment, how to purchase from the machine, and how to retrieve money from the machine. In this demo, we will need two main chip. The first one is the merchant main chip, the one receiving payment. The second one is the customer main chip, the one making payments. Before the machine can accept payment, it must have a main chip associated to it. If we look at the admin panel, we see that we have a notification right here. So let's click on the view current status button to see what it is about. We see that I already have a main chip plugged into the machine. This is the merchant main chip. However, it is not yet associated to the machine. To do so, we need to click on the associate main chip button. Once the main chip has been associated, the machine is now ready to accept payment. We can remove the merchant main chip from the machine. Now, let's look at how customer can purchase from the machine. To do so, we need to exit the admin panel by clicking on this button. This will take you to the customer panel where we can purchase. So let's buy a cup of cappuccino. In order to buy this cup of cappuccino, we need to insert a mint chip. This is the customer mint chip and click OK. When the payment is successful, a message will appear indicating that the drink will be ready soon. Before moving forward, let's buy a few more drinks. Let's get an espresso. And a latte. Eventually, the merchant will want to retrieve all the payment made to this machine. To do so, we will need to access the admin panel by clicking on this hidden button right here. Obviously, in a real-life application, access to the admin panel will require a physical key. But in this demo, we will use a simple password, which is 2468. Before we can download the payment, we need to make sure that we have the right key plugged in. Otherwise, it will not allow you to do so. For this, we can click on the View Current Status button. As you can see here, the plug mint chip is the same mint chip that we associated earlier. Also, we can see that there's $5.50 in the machine. We can now proceed with the download by clicking on this button. We can see that the $5.50 was transferred into the mint chip. Just to show you that it works, let's boot up the sample application from the Royal Mint. We can see that the previous balance is $245. If we refresh that information, we can see that the balance has increased to $250.50 which is exactly the 550 that was added. In this demo, we have seen how easy it is to use a vendor machine powered by the main chip technology, both from the point of view of the customer and from the merchants. It combines the best of a coin and coinless vendor machine, including quickness, ease of use, ease of maintenance, and reliability.